Valentine's Day. Very excited about them. There's, uh, our marketing girl put a list of things up here of why fair trade is better, different than conventional agriculture, but I would say better is one step at a time gardens. Um, Jan Libby is the woman who runs that farm. Jan, Steve, Steve's her husband's name. And they actually left these carrots in the ground up until just about a month ago. And um, when you leave root vegetables in the ground after a couple of freezes, they get a lot sweeter than they would if you didn't let that happen to them. So these carrots are about as fresh and as tasty as anything you can get in Iowa right now. We also got some beets from that same local farmer in the same store. They left them in the ground so that they'd maintain their freshness and so they'd have a really good taste. And it's also another good company. They're not organic, but since it's a greenhouse, their inputs are pretty minimal because they don't have to worry about pesticides, they don't have to worry about herbicides because they don't have pest or weeds because mm -hmm. it's, it's indoors. Yeah, yogurt's are pretty good. This cultural revolution is in Iowa yogurt too. Um, we carry grass-run farmed beef. It's all grass-fed, the meat. Um, mm -hmm. We carry Wheeler's pork products. I believe their products are grass-fed too. I'm not entirely sure about that. We've expanded beer selection and we have a couple of local beers over here too. I just don't know how over there. The Hill Stream Brewing Company is in the Amanda Colony, so we like to carry their stuff. It's very appealing, that kind of entertainment. It's easy to wrap your mind around. It's, it's very, um, it has a very low common denominator. So I'm trying to say like a lot of people can relate to those sort of things like Food Inc. So yes, I do think those help. It helps a lot more than like a peer review article about sustainability in a mm -hmm. scholarly journal or something. But that's a very limited audience. But Food Inc. Is, it was very well done. It had good production values. It's entertaining it has a good message. We're actually doing a screening of it here in a couple of weeks. I can't remember. Oh, it's right. Well, Cheese Island here has several local cheese products scattered throughout it. Ah, yes. This stuff here is from the Milton Creamery. Um, the Prairie Delight is the name of this brand. This is all fantastic cheese. Really, really good quality product. This is bread from the Gateway Market. It's in Des Moines. where they're located at. So they bring us fresh bread every day. We're actually going to start our own bakery program, though, here in the next month or so. We'll start having our own fresh baked bread. These are all very ecologically friendly cleaning supplies. We've got really good um, pet foods over there. Those are that brand, Natural Life, is one of only two pet food manufacturers in the United States that makes their food out of human grade products. Most pet food companies make their food out of substandard products, but mm -hmm. you could actually eat that and it would be nutritionally sound. I wouldn't recommend it, it probably wouldn't taste very good, but yeah, I mean, this is definitely one of the most popular aisles of the store, but as far as uh, sustainably produced local produce, there's not a whole lot in it.